very blessed lang po tayo na na nabigyan po tayo ng pagkakataon na mag-compete sa Paralympics. So, ang sa akin lang is uh, nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa mga tao na nagtitiwala pa rin sa akin ngayon. Kagaya nga po lang sa uh, NSD namin, yung uh, Philos Patada, NPC Philippines, yung mga coaches na nung tayo. Uh, hanggang ngayon ay kahit na kumbaga, nasa age ng ano is talagang pinupush pa rin nila ako, pinumotivate pa rin nila ako para mag uh, mag maggawa o mag mag excel pa rin din sa sports na mahal natin eh so uh, sila sila naman talaga yung naging ano eh naging naging dahilan kung bakit ko ako po uh, uh, kung ano yung lang rating ko ngayon so thankful lang ako sa grateful po ako sa mga tao talaga na itiwala ko And Gerald, kamusta naman yung training, preparing for this Paralympics this time around? Ano yung mga natutunan mo mula sa Rio na ibibit-bitin mo ngayon sa Tokyo? Gerald? Hello? Gerald, naririnig mo ba kami? Kaya coach, sige, kay Coach Mike, Mike muna. Coach Mike, you can hear us, right? I'm not a coach, I'm the president. Oh yeah, but I always call you coach. <laughs> um, sir, diba, sir, you've been obviously a pioneer already for the Paralympic movement, not only in the Philippines, but also uh, in Asia. Um, how proud of you, this batch of athletes? And also, as a second question, I know how you've been also saying in previous interviews about mental and psychological preparation since na pag-usapan natin yun with the idol Yumir kanina at saka ni Coach Marcos. You've been also uh, advocating this for quite a while already, you know, uh, sir. That's right. Uh, well, first of all, I'm very proud of our athletes, our Paralympians, uh, in spite of, of course, the pandemic uh, conditions, the situation. Imagine, uh, sabi mo nga, mental, physical, emotional stress that they've had to go through. Right. Lalo na nagkaroon ng postponement because many of our games were not, uh, did not push through. Diba? Yung ating ASIKIAN PARA GAMES, di na nangyari. So they've had a very difficult time also in training, sabi nga ni Jerol. But uh, all together, in spite of all that, they're already winners. Qualifying yes. to the Paralympic Games alone, our Paralympians are winners already. So uh, uh, the advocacy of mental toughness and all other things, physically and psychologically or emotionally, it's important because uh, uh, our athletes have to go through this, uh, the, all the pressure that comes around, your nervios, yes. their confidence level, etc. So it's important. It has to be always part of the training and even at the competition. They have to be around. Now more than ever, ano, uh, mm -hmm. Sir Mike. Yeah, all right, Gerald. Gerald's balik. Level ng, ano, level ng, uh, Olympic Paralympic Games. Yes. Right, right. All right, Gerald, kung narinig mo kami, balik lang tayo sa, you know, 2009 when you first started to try wheelchair racing. Kala mo na-realize na yun yung magiging passion mo and kamusta yung training mo for this time around sa Paralympics sa Tokyo? Gerald, narinig mo ba kami? Um, yes, uh, medyo ano sir, pero um, medyo narinig ko yung link question. So. Okay, sorry. Uh, ano, sir? There's a delay. Yung training, kamusta yung training heading into the Paralympics for Tokyo, Gerald? Well, uh, sir, yung preparation naman po is talagang ano na, uh, okay naman po. Binigay naman po sa lahat na ano yung mga kailangan natin. Uh, yung mga coaches ko, uh, ready naman po sila na yung mga lahat ng mga inputs ko sa lahat ng aming gawin na workouts uh, binigay sa akin. Yung support from the government naman po is talagang uh, fully support sila. Hindi, hindi po kami naman po ay iiwan din sa mga program na binibigay din at kagaya po sa mga Olympic bound atin natin. So, same po, malaking bagay po yun na, ano, na binigay po sa amin yung mga ganong support ha, na, alam mo yun, uh, as an athlete, Instagram, namomotivate po kami na i-perform talaga yung uh, the best para uh, ma-ilaos ma 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 namin. Mm. So, uh, Nangyayari na yun eh. So, alam mo yun, may mga, yung pag-reparation is wala mo ano yun. Okay. So, feels good naman na nasa top suit naman po kami ngayon. Sir? Opo. Okay. Sir Mike, napanggit yeah. ni, <coughs> excuse me ni Gerald, yung, <coughs> excuse me, yung motivation. Um, how, how great is it that the, the MVPSF is uh, mirroring the, the incentives of the PSC um, you know, motivate them even more to serve as, you know, as uh, inspiration and, of course, coming from the momentum of the Summer Olympics. 
Oh yes, uh, alam mo, I was hoping that that would happen. Alam mo, papasalamat ako sa kaibigan ko, Ricky Vargas, na mm. he was able to help me reach uh, uh, Al Padlilio and of course, uh, Manny Panginan and through the MVP Foundation. Uh, minash na, minero nila yung incentives na pinibigyan ng gobyerno. And uh, that's fantastic because that's uh, very motivational. And not only that, sana sumunod din yung ibang ating uh, galing sa private sector. Right. Tumulong, di ba? Because we need all the help we can get. Alam mo, papasalamat kami ha, sa Philippine Sports Commission, sa gobyerno, sa tulong na binibigay nila. Without them, I don't think we'll ever get to this level. No? Mm. Kasi siyempre yung support sa, sa, sa training, sa equipment, etc. Yes. Pero to sustain this, kailangan na kailangan namin yung private sector. Right. So, uh, the MVP group, the uh, group of, uh, well, sana sumabay na rin yung tumulong din sa sa Olympics, ah, uh, hindi ko lang kung pwede bagitin yung grupo ng San Miguel. Sana sumunod din. Di ba? At uh, syempre, nagpapasalamat tayo, boom, pasensya na sabay ko na rin. Ah. Yung IPC uh, Global Partners na tumutulong sa, sa amin for the last three years na, yung ating City Group at yung Toyota na tumutulong nice. na leading up to the Paralympic Games in Tokyo. Great news.